Every part of my body hurts. I just want to go back to sleep. Every part of my body hurts. I just want to lay down and cry and weep. This must be what it feels like to get old and it's only gonna get worse from here. This must be like what it feels to get old. Holy crap, shit, damn fuck. Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a brand new episode of That Was Not A Joke. I'm in genuine pain right now, and I'm honestly not entirely sure why, so I'm literally just going to chalk it up to me, officially being an old man. And today we're here to talk about a brand new studio album, the long-awaited sophomore studio album, in fact, from Crucia Mentum, entitled Obsidian Refractions. If you were paying any attention to the death metal underground in the 2010s, if you consider yourself an underground death metal and extreme metal connoisseur, then there's a solid chance you might already know a little bit about this international death metal crew. Since their inception, and specifically from 2008 to 2017, Cruciamentum were building a lot of hype, a lot of talk, a lot of buzz, a lot of anticipation with a couple of EPs, a couple of demos, a split, and a full-blown debut album entitled Charnel Passages in 2015. All of which, from what I understand, were pretty well received at the time and even celebrated in the deaf and extreme metal underground. Now, personally, I've only very recently become familiar with uh, Cruciamentum and their body of work, but in my defense, they haven't dropped anything since 2017's Paradise Envenomed EP. And as such, I went into this album relatively blind, only knowing that it was already a pretty popular record, landing on Decibel Magazine's Best Metal Albums of the Year list, getting glowing reviews from Blabbermouth.net, and Metal Sucks. Literally, as I'm speaking right now, as we're recording this right now, my good buds in Thralls of Metal are premiering their review of this exact album, and uh, I, I got a real funny feeling that they're fans of this bad boy. I don't know just yet. Again, it's premiering. We haven't gotten to the score part, but I, I got a real funny feeling that they dig this. And I can totally see why. I went into this blind, and now I come out of this album uh, totally pumped, totally hyped, totally hungry for more Cruciamentum. This is like really dark, demanding, hellish, kind of like old school death metal and death doom kind of stuff, kind of finding a nice balance in between influences, I would say primarily from Immolation, Incantation, maybe just a little bit of Vader and like mid to late 90s Morbid Angel. A lot of dissonant textures and guitar tones as well, some more melodic sections, some chanting vocals, some Slayer or Autopsy-esque dive bombs thrown in as well for shits and giggles. I will say that this thing starts to feel a little dry and samey as we get to maybe the middle of this thing, but overall, if you're in the mood for some dark, brutal death doom, I find it hard to believe that this wouldn't satisfy. The opening number, Charnel Passages, is an atmospheric death doom monolith towering over you and battering away with explosive bursts of blast beats. I love those really ominous, like, atmospheric and ambient kind of textures in the forefront of the sound, like those weird, moaning, choral vocals, almost like somebody's crying out in agony or reaching for your arm. Combined with those classic Def Doom draws and some more volatile sections, there's a nice contrast, there's a lot of energy, it comes down on you with the force of a brick wall. There is arguably a little bit too much fat and gristle on this thing, clocking in just over eight minutes long, when it could probably make do with being six or six and a half, but overall, a very strong way to start the record. The following number, Abhorrence Evangelium, goes further into more extreme, kind of old-school death metal territory, almost kind of having a Polish death metal vibe reminiscent to something like Vader. It's very stark and stubborn and hard-hitting. It does take some time to throw in some, like, meaty, chunky grooves as well, and some fun little tempo changes and transitions. I especially like near the end those wailing, screeching guitars, combined with those chaotic drum fills and those super extra beefy chugs. That's awesome. The closing number, Drowned, though, is for me the undeniable highlight of the record. This kind of compiles a lot of what Cruciamentum is doing across the record into a really big, epic, semi-progressive kind of showstopper. It has some of the most varied riffs on the record. It has some of the best songcraft and some of the best musicianship on the record. From the middle of the track onwards, specifically, is where this gets really exciting. 
some nice twisted old school death metal guitar pyrotechnics, some more nice meaty chugs, some ominous screaming agonizing choral vocals and dive bombs and wailing guitars, all eventually kind of like coalescing into something really chaotic and unhinged. Like as we get further along into the track, it really just kind of feels like we're descending into the depths of hell. It eventually gets so clustered and so chaotic that it almost starts to sound like something out of like an avant-garde death metal record, like maybe something from like Imperial Triumphant, but like stripped down of like that New York jazz element. The super dizzying guitar-induced noise is great at the end too, as you have all these layers of like disorienting guitar madness closing out this thing officially on a genuinely like really creepy note. Much like Charnel Passengers though, this does have quite a bit of fat and gristle. It's 10 minutes long, it could easily make do with being seven or seven and a half. The first two or three minutes especially, I think that you could like really condense down into something a little bit more bite-sized and manageable. It's a pretty straightforward kind of like Deaf Doom intro with standard grueling riffs and like some synthesized ambient kind of stuff as well. By no means terrible, it is effective, it does help to set a mood, but again, we could maybe condense that into like maybe a 45 second piece, a one minute piece instead of a three minute piece. All the other tracks are solid as well. Scorn Manifestation, Necropolis of Obsidian Mirrors, Interminal uh, Rebirth of Abomination. Lots of good, fun, dark, chunky, deaf doom goodness there. Again, I could do with some more varied riffs, some more varied uh, songwriting here and there, but all in all, it is fun. It kept my attention. I was bobbing my head. I was making that mean fucking death metal face when you got to some of those really heavy grooves. The production is great, everything sounds mean and muscular and larger than life without being like super overwhelming. Warts and all, I'm feeling a very solid 3.5 out of 5. I really enjoyed this record. Yes, I have my issues with it, which I have mentioned, but I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it from start to finish despite that. And I think that if you're looking for some really intense, really dark, really immersive death doom, you're going to fucking love this thing. I, I can definitely see why this has been getting glowing reviews. I can definitely see why Decimal Magazine uh, put this in their albums of the year list. I'm hoping that with this momentum behind Cruciamentum, they continue to evolve and expand, and hopefully we would have more music from them in like maybe two or three years as opposed to like six years, you know? But obviously the future is uncertain and who knows what the fuck is gonna happen. For now, Obsidian Refractions, I enjoyed it. By no means perfect, but definitely really fucking good. 3.5 out of 5, definitely check it out. And that is it for the Metal Meltdown. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? Press this button right here and subscribe to the Metal Meltdown if for some reason you have not done so already. Look, there's even more videos here. Check us out on Discord. Pick up some merch on Redbubble. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.